Hello? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I was going to uh, try to discuss the, the Abraham story from the Quran. OK, uh, what about the Abraham uh, story? Uh, that supposedly from the Torah version, uh, Abraham was told to sacrifice his son yeah. by God. Are you Muslim first, my friend? Yes, yes, I right. revert uh, to... What what revert mean? What does that mean? Uh, it means I have uh, uh, reverted back to the original. But what is the original? Islam. Islam is the original. How, my... how Islam is the original? Well, we believe... You see, you, are, you, you just mentioned to me Abraham. You just mentioned to me Abraham. Did Abraham kiss the stones? Uh, that, that's a hadith uh, that I, it's, that's it's not a hadith that's not a hadith this is a, a very authentic because even you see okay did did abraham uh, mention the kaaba well uh, the thing is uh, that's another topic i want to discuss the well abraham the according to the quran sacrifice. what do you mean this is another topic we want to we want to talk about abraham correct no the sacrifice specifically the story okay the sacrifice abraham. okay in sacrifice let's go to the sacrifice yeah Hmm. So the Quran has a different story. Hmm. Uh, it says that Abraham saw in his in in a dream hmm. he was uh, to sacrifice his son. Hmm. In, in the Torah, it says that God ordered Abraham hmm. to sacrifice his son. Hmm. This is this is a bit of bit of a different hmm. kind of story. Hmm. So we believe that the story has somehow been fabricated in the Torah, hmm. and uh, Allah is telling us the story again okay. in a different way that mm. is or correcting the Do you know how to story. write how to read my friend? How to write and read? Yes, or you are illiterate like your prophet. No, I know how to, to write. Okay. Well, the Quran in front of you, it says this is a vision coming from Allah. So yes, what do you yes. mean this is a fabrication? Is a vision coming from Allah, which means it's an order from Allah to do so. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Um, uh, um, there's two different words used for the dream and the vision, right? My friend, does it say in the front of us in the screen? In the yep. front of us in the screen. I'm not making things up. Yeah, Verse let's, number let's 105. The... Yeah. You have indeed shown the truth of the vision. Surely, those we do we reward the doers of the good. So Allah yes. is saying to, uh, to Abraham, this is a true vision, and what you saw is a true. That's mean no, what he when... saw. Okay, let, let, let us make it simple. Which interpretation you like me to read for you? And the thing is... And the thing is, the thing up, is, the wait, thing wait, is, wait, the thing wait, is, wait, wait. you do not know Islam, you, you, you claim that you converted to Islam, but yet you do not yes. know, you don't want any scholar to explain the verse for you. Why? No, because uh, it's not how we read the Quran. No, no, this it's is how you read the Quran. Don't lie to me, don't lie to me. Your no, pro even your prophet, he ordered you to go by what the scholars they say, not what you are. You a yeah, scholar? Do you, know, do you know how to read Arabic? Do you know how to, do you know how to read Arabic? Not blindly, we, we don't blindly follow scholars. Do you know, do you know how to read Arabic? It's taklid. No, I don't. Uh, I okay, learned, uh, so, some, so, I, okay, how you know that this is not the order of Allah? It's in front of you, Allah is saying, This is a true to, vision coming from to me to you. The okay. whole story hmm. from the beginning, it says dream. Right. Okay. The vision is another word. Okay. Right. Okay. So the vision is something else. That's mm. my understanding of the the verse. We can go through it because uh, my understanding is that uh, the son of Abraham thought that this was from Allah, right? The dream. So mm. he said to his father, "Do what Allah has ordered." Right. Mm. And Abraham made his son prostrate before God. Mm. Make him, him put him in down on his forehead, mm. and then this is the vision from Allah, right? Mm. Not the not the dream that was from Shaitan, not from Allah. The dream. So the dream is coming from Allah or from Shaitan? The dream that he's going to sacrifice his son is from Shaitan. Oh, it's from Shaitan. Okay, who is the? Yes. Who? You know, I'm not insulting you. I want you to give no. me one Islamic scholar in the world. I don't agree with the, you. No, how how can how can how can, <laughs> I, how can I, you know? I, this, I mean, this is oh, no, 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 no. You're making right? me laugh at you now. No? You see, no, you, in order to give me something, no, 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 no. If you are the only Muslim, hold on, hold on. You have a big mouth. You don't let me talk. Let us speak with respect. Let us speak with respect. Let us speak with respect. So we can talk in the same time. You're acting like we weird. Now, 
if you cannot show me one Muslim agree with you, what kind of Islam you I converted to? Agree with me, who is I the Muslim who agree show. with you? Show me the name of one scholar in the world agree with you. I can't, I can't uh, necessarily name the scholars. Why you cannot? Why you cannot? Are you saying all the scholars in the world agree with me? They don't agree with you. I know most of them agree with the Torah. No, my friend, not points. most. I not challenge you to show me one. To show me one scholar says that this is a dream was from Shaitan. Yeah, that's where the discussion has gone from me being a Muslim and you wanting me to go out of Islam, right? My friend, I am asking you challenge in front of everybody. If you are truthful in what you said that this is a it's dream was from Shaitan. This is a dream see. from Shaitan. Can you show me one scholar agree with you? Well, I I have a I have a hadith that says that bad dreams are from shaitan and good dreams are from Allah. Okay, bad that, dreams, good dreams, bad dreams come from shaitan. Okay, let us go. Let us go with those. Okay, hold on. So you accept you accept the hadith? That hadith, yes. Oh, only that hadith you accept? No, not only that. Many okay. hadith I accept, but never if they go against. My the, friend, my friend. Quran. So when you say uh, not only that hadith, can you give me how you say to me? How you can trust the hadith to be as trustworthy for you? Uh, we can look at the hadith mm -hmm. and we can uh, We have base principles like we, we never believe that God is evil. We mm -hmm. never believe that God does injustice. We never believe that the Okay, let us see if your God do injustice or not. Messengers. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on You see you are you are yeah. mixing things, uh, things up. I say to you give me a proof and you say this is injustice first of all the God of the Christians did not let his uh, Abraham kill his son did he I know I know okay no, I know now here here we have a problem my friend Allah can say to Ibrahim don't kill him I did not say that to you but he said the opposite he said this is a true vision he did not say this is a false vision from the devil as you claim he no, confirmed the vision he says indeed this is the truth in this vision no, you're you're jumping from the dream to this and, and uh, my friend the dream the is the vision the, Do you see the word vision? Do you know what the word vision mean? Yes, okay. What the word vision mean explain to me it means that it was a vision uh, What vision mean is uh, that a dream is it no. possible to be a dream? No, not if Allah uses two words for the same uh, huh? this, Allah did use uh, the same word for vision and dream in this my, my, okay, hold on. Do you know what, what the word in Arabic? Uh, I'm not exactly sure on the, the word in Arabic is ru'ya, what you saw. Yeah. It doesn't say even the word vision. It says what you saw, what he saw where. Okay. He saw in the what dream. Is the word? Okay. Or ru'ya, here we go. Ru'ya, ru'ya, here we go. In front of you, in front of you, in the screen. Okay. Ru'ya. Check that. Hmm. Okay, check the Arabic on the dream and the vision. Uh, which words are used? Because I, I my my my, my friend, my friend. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Let, let, let us go with you. Let us say Shaitan he gave Abraham a dream. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, hold on, hold yeah, on, hold on. Are yeah. you saying Shaitan he can give you a bad dream? Yes. Yes. Bad okay. Dream, yeah. And you believe in that, right? And then the dream will make you do bad stuff, correct? Because Abraham here, not necessarily, he believed, no, okay, no, Abraham here, according to you, he decided to kill his son because of a bad dream. No, no, we didn't decide that. It says, what do you mean? It, it says that uh, he, he made him, his son prostrate before God, right? My friend, did Abraham try to kill his son and then your God supposedly he sent a ransom, yes or no? Uh, I don't believe that there, the, there was a ram ransom. Either. It's in the front of you. Are you saying to me this is a fabrication too? Uh, it doesn't say. Uh, the, the, in my understanding, the, the sacrifice will be is is uh, is shaitan. It's not uh, the. What 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 what, what shaitan? What shaitan? It says wa fadaynahu bidabhin alim. Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you saying to me that Allah he killed shaitan? Yes. Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Well, it's it's from a couple of videos and what couple of videos? Show me, show me, no, show me. Where do you get this from? Do you have your prophet saying okay. that to you? Okay, tell me where you get the ram from on this. Hmm? It says it's it says wa fadaynahu bi dabhin adim. Okay. Is and your the, God? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is your yeah. uh, is your God usually? Usually, he used to give. Ransom and he give a ram. Yes or no? 
Uh, show maybe be some some verses? I am asking Let's you before say, I show you. Is it usually? Is it usual for God, your God, to ask for for uh, 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 let us say for slaughtering for sacrifice? Yes or no? I don't remember everything, uh, but I'm maybe, not asking you, know, you to remember. I'm asking you: Is it usual in Islam that your God asks for sacrifice? Yes or no? No, but I, I, I say I've told you I'm not sure. Okay, okay. It's a who is the first man? Let us make it simple. Who is the first man who did sacrifice in the history of Islam? Uh, well, it's off topic, I guess. This but is not off the topic. This is a topic. No, but the topic is is Abraham. This and, is the topic, and, and we are talking about the topic. And don't change the topic. Chapter five, verse number twenty-seven. Who is the ones who gave sacrifice to Allah? Five seventy one. I can check it up. Hmm. Just so we are. But I wanted mostly to discuss the, the the verses and and maybe give my my understanding on. The, the, how the, I the first of all, you you are no I one can, to give your understanding. That is funny. You are trying to establish your own cult, and you claim to be to, you claim to be a Muslim. Wait, you are not a Muslim. Wait, wait, you are a fabricator. To wait, according to whom? According to according to all Islamic because your prophet he said right that my nation will not agree upon something wrong So if the whole nation agree about something which is the ram and that Allah is the one who ordered Abraham to do so That's mean Muhammad here is saying what what is right that Abraham is the one who did that because he said my nation will not agree upon something wrong so what you are saying to me that all the nation of Muhammad Agree upon something wrong, and you are the one who come with something new, which is not that's, what the nation agree upon. That's not really necessarily my case. I mean, uh, mm. if someone follows the but Jews, you, then but you remember, you right? fail, you fail to show me one proof. Like, I mean, how in the world do you come to this conclusion that it's a shaitan who made Abraham think this way? Do you have a proof? Well, uh, because uh, Allah doesn't uh, order evil, uh, right? uh, your God is about evil, everything about him is about evil. Well, that's another topic. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Other up. topic. No, other. and this is a topic. Oh, you just mentioned right. it you, because when I ask you what is the reasoning, you don't believe that Allah is the one who did that. You say Allah don't order all evil, but Allah is about evil. Where does it say that uh, Allah? Orders okay, let evil. me ask you: Who is the one who misguide people? Is it Shaitan or Allah? No, but it, does, it isn't evil, right? What? Who is the one who misguide people? No, it, Allah it or Shaitan? If Allah misguides someone, it isn't evil, right? If it's, it's not, it's it's not evil. evil, it's not evil. No, no, why is it evil? He can do. He so can what? Do so that what? Shaitan do then? Evil. So what? Shaitan do? You, you know, when you say to me that Abraham he received a a, a a a a dream from the devil and to make him do something evil, yeah. And what is evil? Son. What is evil? Kill his son. Okay. Right. Hold on. So you are saying to me if we if if you kill something if Child you kill us if you kill your son. Evil. Okay, no child sacrifice is evil, correct? Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's wonderful. So when your God he says, and they come to Muhammad and they said, We are killing their children while they are with them. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following story. Do you know the story of Al Khadr? Uh, because maybe uh uh, you can talk about it. it's coming off topic. Though. No, we are not going after the topic, my friend. Because in the Quran, in chapter 18, verse number 74, and you can read the after, you will see that in chapter 18, 74, and chapter 18, verse number 80, the Prophet of Allah, Al Khadr, he killed the child because in the future he will not be good to his parents. This is called child sacrifice. And you are the one who said that Allah will not allow such a thing. This is your Quran and this is your translation. It's not mine. So when they arrive, Allah He sent Musa to learn from Al Khadr. So when they sent, we went until they went a boy. He slew him. Musa's have he said to him, You have slain an innocent person. What you why you did that? You did a man slaughter. Certainly, you have done something evil. Do you see the word evil? This is evil. And there you will you will see that Allah. Uh, 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 but supposedly he sent uh, Musa to learn wisdom from this man Al Khadr, who is his best servant, who knows a lot more than uh, uh, Musa himself. And look what Allah said here. And as for the boy, 
his parents were believers and we feared lest he should make disobedience and that's why he slaughtered him do you see it uh, I haven't studied this uh, 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 you are talking to me really I mean like a kid what well, don't tell me I don't, I don't tell me I have not studied that's, this that's, you are the one who said to me evil. if you slaughter a kid if you slaughter a kid this is evil and this is your God explain why the kid is okay to be slaughtered what do you say uh, I, I, hey, hey, hey. I mean give me the answer stop the being a hey. I mean, like you are like a woman in bread net in the delivery room, but nothing is coming out. E, it's yeah. a boy. It's I a boy. Can, even Musa I, says to him. Even Musa says to him, "You did something evil. Do you see it? You I did something evil. Him, so, yeah. it is did evil." Allah say he did evil. Huh? Did Allah say that Allah did evil? Uh, Musa, what are you talking about? Yes, he said that. No, Musa, saying, Musa, yeah, uh, you are the one who said to me, "Look how hypocrite you are." You are the one who said to me, "If you slaughter a child." You are doing something evil, aren't you? Yes or no? Yes, if you okay, if you sacrifice, is, uh, children, is this yeah. guy? Yes, this is a sacrifice because he will not be good to God, so we kill him. This is a sacrifice for God when you kill the children of somebody just because in the future they will leave Islam. And how this guy he knew he will leave Islam because Allah told him so. Even before you commit the crime in Islam, just because you are a child who became an infidel, we kill you, and you are the one, don't be hypocrite, you are the one who said to me. That killing, sacrificing a child is evil. And this is exactly what your God did. And even Musa is confirming that you slow an innocent person. He commit no crime yet. How in yeah. the world do you judge a person for, for no crime? This is against justice. He did not commit a crime. But because I in the future he is going to leave Islam, so now we slaughter him? I can look up on this, but... No, you cannot look yeah. up on him now. You no want to look now. You want to look up. Don't don't change the topic. Islam, you right? see, you are that's, getting you are getting busted. Opposite. This is what Islam yeah, is. Yeah, this yeah. is what Islam is. You said to me, Abraham, he did not have a dream because there is no way Allah will say to him, kill your son. At no, least the son I, of Abraham, dream, shut up, hold on. The, yeah. Killing the son of Abraham, Abraham, his son, at least he was not a kid according to Islam. He was a man. Here we have a baby child. He was playing with the kids. If we go and read the Islamic interpretation, you will see how they slaughter him with no mercy. So you are a person who try to avoid the truth by jumping around in, in the bushes and you say, okay, I don't want to read it because simply I want to study that. It's in the front of you. Study it. Give me what do you think. Study this. Uh, no, you study it now. You know, no, you give me an answer now. After, what, after what, what, happened? what happened? What happened? Tell me what happened. What happened? What happened? Why now you don't want to it talk about take it? Two minutes to, to figure out uh, such deep. Why? Uh, or no, you can search right. deep right now. How many years you want yeah, me to yeah, give yeah. you? How many years you want me to give you? You see, when you as a Muslim, you, you claim to be a Muslim. When you learn about the Quran, now you said you want to search. You will search where? I want to search up the, the verse that you're. You will search so where? Read, right? No, 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 no. You will search where? The scholars? Here we go. The scholars in front of us. No, you want to search the Quran? I, I showed you the Quran. Course. No, no, that's, shut up. Listen, that's, listen, that's you are being hypocrite. Forbidden. When you say, I'm that's going forbidden. to search, search where? Where? Tell, tell me where you want to search. Oh, uh, where I want to research this, this topic? Where, where, where the books you will read to find the answer? Yeah, which books you will read? No, but Allah guides those. Uh, <laughs> get lost, get lost, get lost. You know, you aren't a man enough. You are just a kid. You are stupid. You are mental. No, okay, because okay, simply, you, you don't have the courage. Allah. You don't have the courage to tell me where you will search for the answer. Allah lead you. Who are you? Your no, God, course. Allah Himself, He did not lead Muhammad. You are a prophet. Did, right? did you? So listen, you know your God. He have no knowledge. Your God, He says that the sperm of the women, the sperm of the women. Hold on. What kind of God? He, he, he shut up. What kind of God? He said to you, the women have a sperm coming from their ribs. You see, you're going through a lot of. You are the one who said knowledge. I'm, I'm jumping with you. You are the you are the one like a monkey, jump from place to place. You say to me, Allah give knowledge. What knowledge? Your God even don't remember which one He created first, the earth or the heaven. Your God do not know how He created the human being. Your God do not know how how the human is made. He's, even He says that the sperm will transform into a congealed blood, and then the congealed blood will become a loom. And then the loom will became a bones, and the bones we fl we we close it with 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 the, with the skin. That is stupid. Even donkeys yeah, don't say that's, that. That's your uh, interpretation. So this is not my interpretation. Uh, this is what the Quran is saying. Stop being a donkey. The Quran is saying that. Oh. You want to show you? 
Do you want me to show you? Don't tell me I'm saying that. Don't tell me. Don't lie. Don't don't ever dare to say I am saying that. You are a coward. You are a coward. You are not discussing. I'm showing you. Here we go. Look how he slaughtered him by sticking his throat with the knife or laying down by tearing his head and his hand or by his hand by smashing his head against the wall. What's wrong with you? So uh, one of the things that you, you brought up was apostasy, death penalty, right? That he was going to leave Islam, so they they, they killed he is him. He's a kid. He did not leave Islam, my donkey. How you can? Isn't it the Quran says to you, you have to be just? Isn't it the Quran says to you, you pay for your sin? Isn't it you Muslim, you say to us how Jesus, he will pay for your sin, but he is honest? He did not commit sin yet. So how the one who did not commit sin, he pay for sin yet? Uh, this is a lot of different topics right? no, 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 no it's not a different topic the guy did not commit sin he is a child he's a boy and Allah is a sponsor in that Allah he have no problem with that Allah is the one who inspired al Khadr, and Allah is the one is talking here is not even al Khadr is talking so what kind of God he says such a thing uh, I, can, I can definitely Read up on this. Um, uh, 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 the, 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 definitely, my friend. The, when you talk about Islam, let me teach you something. Let me teach you something. Let me let me teach you something. You you are being stupid. I'm not thing. insulting you. You are being stupid. You are creating no, your own version of Islam. No, you are stupid. You are a balloon. You are a balloon of gas of thought. No, no, no. Get lost. Don't don't call me again. Don't call me again. I have no time for stupidity. When you come to me and you say I became a Muslim, that is Islam. If you have your own version of it, this is a stupidity. This is not Islam. I cannot find one person in the world agree with you about what you said. So you are a certified donkey from different kind. So if they are donkeys, you decide to be a mule. This is your business. So don't call me says I'm a Muslim. You are not. That is your lie. Shaitan, he said to Abraham, slaughter. Isn't it the Quran said that my followers, you have no authority over them? Except the one who follow thee, which means Shaitan, he cannot misguide and he cannot make people do bad things unless they are bad anyway. Hmm? And you will notice here how stupid his argument is. He want to give, and when I show him the, the Islamic interpretation, he says to me, oh, this is your own interpretation. Suddenly this kid, he know what Islam is about, and this is my interpretation. All the Quran confirm what we are saying. Look what the Quran says in the stupid book in the yellow pages of Allah. Inna ibadi laysa lakum laka alayhum sultan. My servants, my slaves, you have no authority over them except the bad ones, the criminals. So, in order for Shaitan to be able to control Abraham's mind to the point Abraham he want to kill his son. He have to be from the evil doers. He have to be satanic himself, because the Quran says you have no authority over any of my followers. <laughs> 